Welcome friends to the 7th episode of the Plug in India Electric Vehicle Issue Tracker. This is where we actually interact with real world EV users, find out what their problems are and if any solutions are presented for those problems then we put them on our Plug in India forums. Without further ado, let's go ahead with our first issue. This is about the MG ZS EV. This is a very popular electric vehicle. People are loving it and it seems that they have good service as well. So, so what happened with Apurva was that on the 19th of June 2021 because of the heavy rains and water logging, the water got into the car in spite of the car being parked on a ramp. Now the water got inside the car and when he started the car it gave him an error screen and he panicked. And now he's wondering what he should do, whether this is an insurance claim worthy issue, uh, whether this is a quality defect in the car because uh, the components of the car have been IP67, 68 rated. So what Apurva did in this situation was he contacted the service station and they asked him not to start the car and that it would be towed to the service center. Of course, whenever your car gets towed, it does worry you a lot and Apurva also was very worried. So the car was towed to the workshop and they kept on doing diagnosis and kept him and he kept on following up with them and later they told him that the control unit had some issue and it could be uh, that the full wiring would need to be replaced uh, because of the moisture. They are planning to raise this under insurance cover but Apurva is questioning the quality to be an issue as most of the components are IP67-68 rated. So the solutions that were given to Apurva by the workshop were that first the control unit would have to be changed and it would cost him 5000 rupees and the entire wiring harness because of the moisture had got spoiled and it would need to be replaced at the cost of 72000 rupees and after that they would be able to do some further testing to figure out if there were more problems and the entire issue would take about 20 days to put his car back on the road. So considering that uh, MG ZS has manufactured a car and not a submarine it's really good, nothing happened to the battery pack, nothing happened to the motor and other components, uh, con control unit, yes, it did get damaged and wiring harness, surprising, it cost a lot, 72,000, if it was not within warranty, it would have been a major expense for the owner. So uh, this is something that is a little bit concerning. However, we have been told by Apurva that he's got good service, good response from the MGZS team and that's uh, very heartening and that's good to hear. Uh, finally, we've got an update from Apurva and he says that the company has called him back and told him that it's about approximately 8,000 rupees uh, the expense to him, uh, 5,000 for the vehicle control unit and 2.5 for carpet cleaning and GST. So I think that's a good deal for a car vehicle which had completely stalled, waterlogged and had to be towed to the workshop, 8,000 is a good price. Uh, he now has an option whether he's going to pay them from his pocket or whether he's going to claim his insurance. So that's something that if we get an update, we'll let you know. Uh, let's go back now to Apurva's feedback, how he felt during this entire ordeal that he had to go through. Uh, he says that the staff at the workshop was very supportive and they explained everything and updates were given on a regular basis. He requests that MG come up with a series of videos to educate the current and future EV owners as to what to do and what not to do in the monsoon season, like charging in the open or under a shed or uh, what one should do in such scenarios. He says the management should also look into quality issues as water logging is a major concern in Indian cities during the monsoon especially, so design should have been considered. Well, uh, that's what we have for you on this issue. Uh, take a look in the description, the link is given over there and you can go and follow this problem on Twitter and on our forums as well. So Apurva, thank you very much for uh, allowing the community into your life and showing us what's happened to you and MG Motors, good job. Next up guys, another very popular electric vehicle, the Hero Photon 2019 model with the Filion battery which is the older variant, now they have Trontec batteries and actually this issue was submitted to us by Saranya Motors, a multi-brand dealer in Pune just to show us the kind of case that one of their customers got to them. So this is a scooter which had driven about 6153 kilometers 
and uh, the motor got completely burnt. What happened was it just got stalled on the road and wouldn't move. So the owner had to drag it to the nearest uh, outlet, so the nearest service center, which happened to be Saranya Motors on Airport Road, Pune. So okay, uh, let's take a look at the images. What you can see here is the inside of the BLDC motor that goes into the wheel hub and uh, the entire uh, motor has been removed. You can see the burnt wiring over there in the second image. And uh, now you can see everything has been removed from the hub. And uh, this is the empty hub that you can see over here. And of course, the scooter where all the wiring and everything has been opened up so that it can be serviced and cleaned. And uh, finally, uh, this is the hub after being repaired and the motor has been wound up again and it has been put back this is the image of the uh, hub, uh, hub motor which has been replaced into the scooter. So the solution that was provided by Saranya Motors was as follows. What they did was uh, the wiring of the motor was changed, the sensor of the motor was changed and the sensor plate was also changed. Having done these three things, uh, the scooter came back to life. So the total cost to the customer for this entire service was 6000 rupees. So here is a video of the motor after being repaired in working condition. Uh, you can see it's doing just fine. It's very rare that such a case happens. Uh, BLDC motors generally are not known to burn up like this. They last a very long time. We know of scooters which have been going around for even 15 years. So uh, this could possibly okay, be a case of overloading where more than what the motor could tolerate was loaded onto the scooter and hence it might have got spoiled. Of course, this voids the warranty and uh, so the repair would have to be carried out at customer's cost. So guys, overall we feel this is a really good repair because this level of repair where you've actually opened up the motor and repaired it where most dealers today are interested in just throwing away the old and replacing it with a new one. If you can actually replace repair something then you are not only saving the environment because you are continuing to use the already manufactured parts and not getting in something new manufactured and throwing away something which has already been uh, wasted. But it's also good for the customer, right? It's uh, much more cost effective and it keeps something going. It gives us a lot of confidence that such repair is possible and these vehicle can be serviced and kept on running, not having the customer to go running behind the OEMs to supply them with new parts or new scooters or whatever else that might be. So this is a message to all you hero electric uh, dealers out there and all other electric scooter manufacturers and service centers and dealers. This is how you can actually repair a scooter and you should get into this and try and actually fix these problems on your own with some knowledge and that will be great to see have a vibrant EV ecosystem in India. So good job Saranya Motors and keep it up. Our next issue is about the Mahindra e Verito, a very very popular car especially with fleets, corporates and even our government. And what has happened is over here we have Mr. Farooq Sheikh who has purchased an e Verito, uh, and this happens to be one of those cars which was sold off to ESL. It's a 2019 version of the e Verito, and uh, it was then not used and kept lying in the lot and then it was purchased by Farooq at uh, 90 kilometers on the odometer. So Farooq says that he has purchased this uh, second hand Mahindra e Verito for a discounted price of 4 lakhs and now he is facing issues from day 1. First of all when he puts it to charge the car gives him an error saying communication error check cable. And secondly the onboard charger stopped working after he drove the car for a thousand kilometers. So guys, we have uh, had many people having problems with onboard charger on their Mahindra vehicles and basically what happens is that uh, the car doesn't charge. Then you find out probably the next day and then uh, you go and check whether your socket is alright, whether the place where you are charging the car from is okay or not. If you can confirm that it's fine, then you check the cable itself to see if there's a fault with the cable, try another cable and see if it works. And even then if it doesn't work, then you can be pretty much sure that there is an issue with the onboard charger. So uh, that's how Farooq has determined that. Uh, so he took the car to the Mahindra service center and uh, they gave him a cost of 1.3 lakhs to replace the onboard charger. So this is one of the big components that needs to be replaced in electric vehicles if there is a problem. 
So normally this does not happen, onboard charger is a pretty reliable component, it does not get spoiled but we don't know with this second hand car what condition it was kept in, whether it was exposed to weather or not and it hasn't been used. So that's why it's possible that uh, some error might have cropped up with it. Of course, uh, the option to repair is not available over here. What happens is if the unit is spoiled, the entire unit is taken out and a fresh one is put in. So this is something that one would really like to see electric vehicle companies addressing. Repairability should be built into these vehicles. Sometimes it's a simple component faulty, some loose connection somewhere, but the issue is that it takes skilled technician and it takes a lot of time, energy and effort to do these things. So it's always easier to replace but repair should be an option. So generally we've seen people in the electric vehicle community uh, who have got their electrics, electronics repaired and for a very low cost like a single capacitor would have been faulty and the major cost would have been probably shipping the entire uh, unit to another city and then getting it back and uh, the repair was done and the uh, equipment uh, charger works fine. So guys, this is a genuine problem that all users face, especially with big ice companies who don't care much about the customer. They just want to make money, the dealership, the workshops, they will replace your parts and not repair them. This doesn't happen with all the ice cars because an ecosystem has been built up. The mechanics on the road without any formal training have figured out how to repair these parts. And let's hope this happens soon for electric vehicles as well. I see that there is a bit of a learning curve over here but our mechanics are smart, Indians are smart ingenious guys and we would figure out how to repair these components that would be a great day for India. So uh, a new development has happened and Farooq has tweeted that the with you Hamesha team has gotten in touch with him and they have offered that if he can send the onboard charger to Bangalore they will fix it for 10k. Now we don't know whether Farooq has gone ahead with this or not but he does say further in his tweet that uh, he is still driving his car and uh, his daily commute is 20 kilometers and right now he's got 80 kilometers left in his distance to empty indicator <laughs> so that's how much he can drive now without fixing his onboard charger we will be getting back to you with more updates uh, this is an interesting scenario where actually a repair is being initiated so do check in the description below a link to the forums has been given where you can see the developments of this case as it happens. So that brings us an end to this week's issue tracker. Do join us again next week. Like us, subscribe to us if you like the work that we are doing. Please go ahead and join our forums and participate over there. If you are an electric vehicle owner and are facing some issue or similar issues, go ahead and check out our forums if your issue is already listed. If not, make a new listing and we'll see how we can get back to you. So thank you guys for watching, see you again next